So this is a Gen 2 Shield Arms mag. This came with uh, the S15, 1911. This is a sh Shield Arms Gen 3. The difference is, is back strap on Gen 2 is smooth. Back strap on the Gen 3 has nubs. And this one, this is a PSA Dagger Micro uh, 15 round mag. So this has the micro slick finish. Uh, this is a blim, but I couldn't figure out why it's a blim. That's typical of PSA products. Um, doesn't meet they, their QA standards, but for all intents and purposes, it's still functional. So I don't know if it's a finish issue or what. But um, anyways, it, arri it arrived today, and so I've done this off camera. But what we want to do is we want to test to make sure it latches properly. And it does. And we want to test to make sure it drops the magazine properly. And it does. Latch. Latch. Drop. I'm doing it at different angles. And it drops. So it latches and drops. So the thing is, it's like, do you want to use these? in a carry gun and I would say no because the mag catch that's inside this mag well here and this gun is clear by the way um, mag catch is metal <clears throat> the mag catch on the uh, magazine on this dagger magazine is polymer so you can see that this is like a, a bi coating wall it's it's metal but it's got like a sleeve in the front of the front strap of the gun um, and it has the mag catches up here um, this is primarily used for glocks so the dagger is a glock clone so this should work in in glocks as well glocks and daggers um, without issue probably less so of an issue with those guns than the s15 1911 because the uh, the glock clone and the and the glocks themselves uh, the mag catch that's inside of the gun is polymer so polymer on polymer wears less than metal on polymer or polymer on metal you know uh, the polymer when it's not like a, a polymer on polymer uh, the polymer whichever it is whether it's on the mag or the gun that that polymer is going to wear over time and so I've done mag drop test not dropping on the floor just dropping out of the well uh, on this particular magazine maybe 10 15 times since I've got it maybe an hour ago uh, and I see wear along the, the, the front strap here. You can probably see it in the camera. It's that light line going up, uh, which is it, this riding the, uh, the inside of the mag well when being pushed up and dropped and being dropped. Um, I don't see any wear on this side. I see some wear along here and here. Here I'm not concerned about. I don't think it's going to affect the. Let me see here. I don't think it's going to affect the follower or or the feeding of the gun, uh, because it's not the wear isn't at. Where's a pin here? The wear isn't here. It's down here. And you can see there's like a little lip there. So as this wears down, maybe it'll start affecting this. I'm not sure, um, so, but I'll pay attention to the wear. But for now, I'm going to consider these very decent. Uh, another option as range mags. You can practice with these without issue. You know, you don't have to depend upon your life. 
uh, so your life doesn't have to depend upon range mags because you you know the intention is you're just using the range mags for practice right not for carry um, but it would be nice to see this sleeve in all metal and I'm curious maybe I'll order another one and take off this polymer because if I can make it look like this underneath that sleeve with those cuts there shit that would be that would be really nice I have no idea what it looks like I'm not sure if I can kind of take the sleeve off I'm not sure if it slides off but that's 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 interesting I'm pretty sure I can get that coating off and if so then I can make the mag catches look like this versus that and if that's the case these would be I mean I, I still don't know if you know if you do that would it be feasible to kind of depend upon your life uh, you know for something like that I'm not sure I mean these are readily obtainable and some people swear that these you know shield arms and mags are you know they cause issues until I see an issue with my particular gun I am not going to be kind of just making a generalization like that um, just because Glocks might have an issue with this particular mag now remember what I said earlier uh, so Glocks have issues with S15 mags because the mag is all metal for one uh, so so you're gonna have wear issues as it pertains to this cutout and the plastic uh, mag catch on Glocks as well I've seen issues where they don't drop out properly they don't latch properly so uh, it's a known issue with some Glocks I've seen some people say that they don't have issues with them so it's not again it's not it's not a general thing amongst Glocks with these particular mags so depends on your depends on your gun so as with anything always test your equipment before you begin to carry it whether it's the gun whether it's the ammo whether it's the mag uh, 